starting the machine, I want to do a visual check of all the levels. Here on one location, you see hydraulic oil, you see your AdBlue, you can fill your fuel, you see your greasing point, engine oil levels, cap uh, level, you're ready to go. The next point you check is the air intake. What you see here is the front of the machine. You open up, you open up the hood, and then you see it's very easy to check the uh, to clean the air filter. When needed, you can it's easy access to the uh, to the batteries, and then you can see one of the specific of this machine is the high air intake, so that you don't take any dust into the engine. Okay, the three wheeler with the big big wheel, the 1050 Michelin, the front fork. Uh, with in the front fork the hydraulic drive and the brake system. We can steer 70 degrees both ways, so it gives a very sharp turning radius with a powered front wheel on this machine. The cooling package, uh, a big screen on the outside to take away the uh, big dust. It's important to control the temperatures of the machine under hot conditions. You see here the four radiators beside each other. Um, engine, after cooler, transmission, hydraulic oil, uh, air conditioning and then with a reversible fan to clean out the radiators. Loading to the, the manure through the 8 inch hose. The manure goes through the super load pump to the front of the arm. The arm can move all the way to the front and go as deep into the pit as the hose is long. The manure goes into the cutter, comes here into the cutter. It separates the manure, it cuts the manure, takes the stones out cuts it and then via a 10 inch pipe goes into the burger pump on the other side of the machine. The big 9000 liter pump, it turns two directions for loading and unloading, a 10 inch suction pipe and then when loading in combination with the super load, this is the valve that opens up to create a bypass that the manure goes before into the pump into the directly into the manure tank. The machine has a mechanical drive, mechanical back axle drive through a CV tra CVT transmission, hydraulic front wheel drive, 400 horsepower engine. Uh, because of the mechanical drive, it's very efficient in fuel and it's ab able to transfer the power to the ground very, uh, very good. So it can pull a very big injector. The machine is equipped with a tire inflation system so the driver can control the tire pressure, minimum and maximum pressure, very easy to adjust from the cab. The linkage of the machine, where you connect the different injectors, uh, we decided for a heavy duty, but very simple, easy to use uh, lift, using a tractor, standard tractor components, uh, a very heavy duty top linkage. Then you go into the hydraulic connectors, being standard, the separate connectors, or you have the multifaster. And then here you have the 24 pole connector, which you are able to connect the different functions from the injector into the computer of the machine. 16 cubic lightweight polyester tank with integrated baffles and pipes, um, modular built for uh, this unit. Unique is how we build the chassis. It's built from separate plates, bended, and then uh, welded together as a tube in such a way that uh, when the chassis is ready, we don't weld anything on the chassis anymore, but everything is bolted, which gives a much stronger and reliable, durable chassis. Easy, controllable machine. Everything is designed to run it on buttons, so we don't touch the touchscreen. Uh, driving forward, driving backwards on the joystick, or with the option to run it on the foot pedal. Um, when driving in the machine, when you're jump, bouncing through the cab, you don't adjust anything on the touchscreen, but you basically run it like this through the uh, different settings, and then you can control the pressures by, living, by the little button. Easy, simple perfect working environment for the driver.